Good afternoon, all. It is uh, about 3.30 in the afternoon on Friday, March 31st, and uh, I want to take just a few minutes to give you a quick update on what we're looking at right now, what we're expecting for the next several hours. Make sure everybody is informed ahead of this uh, severe weather event that we have moving into the area. Uh, so we're going to start off with the uh, regional radar across the area, and uh, right now it's pretty calm here in the Memphis area. We've had a few showers around, uh, but uh, the wind has picked up. We've had a little bit of sunshine this afternoon, and uh, the uh, instability that is present to our west is moving to the east as well on those southerly winds, a little bit of that uh, sunshine that we had, um, and the approach of a upper level trough that is cooling the upper atmosphere while the lower atmosphere warms, and that brings us the storm fuel to fire off these thunderstorms. Uh, currently to our west, we've had a couple of uh, tornadic storms move through the Little Rock, North Little Rock area in the last hour. Those are continuing to move to the northeast. Uh, those particular storms uh, are not likely to affect the Memphis Metro directly, uh, but there are additional storms back to the west uh, that will be uh, moving in this direction as we go through the next uh, several hours. So I want to take you straight to the uh, high resolution rapid refresh model that we use. This is uh, data that comes out every hour. We get a new picture. We look for trends on this data. So uh, the first thing I want to uh, make you aware of as you're watching through this, and I'm describing the times that things are going on, uh, don't look necessarily at individual storm cells. Uh, we're using this to kind of determine trends, uh, general coverage, and uh, severity as well. Um, and you can get a general idea of timing and so forth, but but uh, just because uh, your particular dot on the map does not get maybe a storm over it at a certain time doesn't mean it can't happen. So uh, we're going to start off and uh, move this forward here as we go to this is four o'clock uh, coming up here in the next half hour or so. And you see it is developing those storms uh, from Little Rock up into uh, northeast Arkansas. Those storms that moved through Little Rock a little while ago will be moving to the northeast. Uh, and those storms are trailing back into northeast Texas uh, through the Texarkana area. So basically kind of bisecting from northeast to southwest the state of Arkansas. Uh, few uh, showers and maybe isolated thunderstorms uh, starting to form to our southwest down the river as well. Now, all of this is going to be moving to the northeast, uh, and so we'll want to kind of keep that in mind as we go through this where our storms are going to be coming from. So as we go to 5 o'clock, we see that start to fill into the west a little bit more, and also we'll point out that there's kind of an arc of cells from Missouri back into northern Arkansas. That is actually where the cold front is, and that is going to kind of catch up with these storms. In fact, it does over southwestern Arkansas into Texas. Uh, so a lot of this is out ahead of that front, which will be uh, swinging through later as well. Uh, as we move into the evening, this is 6 o'clock, and we get activity much, much closer to us. I do expect uh, that we will have a much busier radar by the time we get to a rush hour and the end of rush hour. Um, that uh, front is continuing to push this off to the east. And then 7 o'clock, we've got sky scattered storms over us. That front is kind of catching up. Um, there are some scattered strong storms around the area. Again, don't focus on individual storms. Focus on the entire picture. And then 8 o'clock, that continues. The trend continues. By 9 o'clock, it's kind of starting to form uh, right along the front is starting to push this through and by 10 o'clock you see basically according to this it is just east of the city of memphis kind of starting to push out of the metro and by 11 it has done that um, so i'm going to go back through this one more time and just show you once again four o'clock five o'clock six o'clock seven o'clock eight o'clock nine 10 and 11. So uh, you notice the trend as we go into the next couple hours is increasing chances of thunderstorms. Uh, we will have more unstable air here uh, as we go through the next couple of hours. I expect that those storms will be strong to severe as they push through. Um, we are under a elevated uh, in, uh, elevated risk of tornadoes. Some of those could be long uh, track tornadoes. They could be strong. Uh, we've already seen something similar in the Little Rock area. So uh, that is to remind you that uh, yes, this uh, can happened even though right now we look uh, pretty decent out the uh, window right here in Memphis <clears throat> and that line will push through mostly as a solid line as we get towards uh, the 8 to 10 o'clock uh, hours and then after 10 I think most of this is gone so uh, the next four hours or I'm sorry next six hours or so uh, especially between about 6 and 10 o'clock is going to be our time period of most concern so let's talk about a few things and ways we can be prepared we are in a uh, high risk of severe weather that is level 5 it is the uh, highest level that the storm prediction center issues it has been 12 years since the last time the city of Memphis was in a high risk uh, that should tell you something about 
about uh, what we are potentially dealing with. Uh, we want to make sure, first of all, that you know your adjacent counties because these storms are going to be moving quickly. Uh, you don't want to wait until you hear that the storm is uh, inside Shelby County and headed towards you because within minutes uh, it will be where you are probably. So um, you want to be looking upstream, which means uh, in Memphis we're looking at uh, St. Francis, Lee, Phillips counties, Tunica counties. All of the storms will be coming from the southwest. Uh, if you are off to the east and north, say Tipton and Fayette counties, Shelby County will likely see uh, storms before you do if they're coming your direction. Um, and of course, if you're down in North Mississippi, you're looking upstream down to Tunica, Equipment, Panola counties uh, for places like Tate and Marshall and maybe Southern Fayette. But uh, be looking to the southwest as we are showing radar going through the evening hours uh, on our Twitter and Facebook feeds. <clears throat> you should already be charging your cell phones. Uh, high wind is another threat with this uh, line of storms that's going to be coming through and even individual storms. Power outages are expected. I uh, do not know the extent to which those will occur. Uh, however, it will be uh, expected that we'll see some power outages from down trees and power lines. Um, so be uh, advised of that. Make sure you're charging your devices. These are just a few tips for you um, to consider as you are trying to maintain that charge through the evening. If you're starting to get a little bit behind on getting it charged, um, remember uh, if you've got a laptop uh, or a vehicle that has a USB cable, you can recharge that way as well. Um, make sure that you are signed up for emergency alerts either through our app, uh, memphisweather.net. We also strongly recommend uh, our nationwide app, the Stormwatch Plus app. Go check that out for your, uh, for your phone as well. It's free to download. There's a subscription fee to, the, uh, to uh, get the uh, severe weather alerts, but it's only 99 cents a month. Uh, even if you just do it for a month and kind of get through uh, a month or two and get through this spring, I think it's going to be well worth your time. And then, of course, when you're maintaining the charge, uh, there's several tips there to help you with that. <clears throat> you always want to make sure you have multiple ways to get warnings. So not just from your phone, um, the uh, local TV and radio, of course, uh, local broadcasts, I'm sure will be wall to wall this evening. Make sure you've got one of those turned on and getting your information from there as well. Um, if there is a tornado warning issued, outdoor sirens will sound. And just be aware that if you're indoors and uh, have the air conditioner running or you uh, have uh, heavy storms right over the top of you, they may be hard to hear. They are designed for outdoor use, uh, but they are a backup way of doing that. And of course, you've got friends and family and co-workers, uh, so you can also, if you, uh, if you uh, are need to, you can call your family, call your friends, check in, uh, and make sure that everybody's aware of the situation. And of course, a no weather radio strongly recommend one of those as well. That will provide you uh, alerts for, for your area too. Should we get into a situation where you need to shelter this evening, and it is entirely possible uh, that that will happen, does not mean that the, the, the tornado is going to hit your house, um, but the warnings obviously cover a larger area and uh, keep everybody informed of potential dangerous storms. We want you to make sure that you are finding a place that is as far to the right on this particular graphic as possible. If you do not have a tornado shelter or a uh, safe room, uh, good good options include uh, a well-constructed home or building, interior room, lowest floor, away from windows. Um, if you have a basement, most people don't in this area, but some places do, uh, that is certainly a good option as well. Uh, large open rooms and manufactured housing are not great options. Mobile homes and vehicles, even worse. So please do not find yourself in one of those places if you can help it at all this evening. We recommend uh, and have put this on Twitter that if you do not have to be out this evening, you need to be in a place where you can take shelter quickly if needed. Um, so if you are in a mobile home or manufactured housing of some sort, um, then we recommend that you call up a friend who's uh, in a well-built house and see if you can go hang out for the evening and uh, watch the weather together so that you have a safe place to be. Um, we certainly don't want uh, anything, anything terrible to happen uh, because of not taking advantage of options that you have available to you. Finally, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, <clears throat> with a little bit on storm anxiety. Uh, we have seen this today. Uh, I'm aware that it is out there. We have not had uh, this high of a risk uh, directly here in Memphis in quite some time. A lot of people have relocated here uh, since we've had storms like this before. I need you to just make sure that you are following some of these so that you can keep your wits about you and make good decisions when the time comes. Uh, watching things like this and following uh, your sources on either TV or social media will help you 
to prepare and know what's going on. That helps a lot for you to just be aware of what is going on. Make sure you've got multiple ways of getting warnings so that if something fails on one, you've got another way to get that. Um, certainly do your research, understand how these work, uh, how these situations work, um, and then follow along with the updates that are provided either on television, social media, whatever. Uh, we will pro be providing regular updates on our social media feeds, Memphis Weather One on Facebook and Twitter. Um, if you're on Facebook, find the pinned post uh, on our page, the top post, and all of the updates will be in the comments on that page, on that post. Uh, you can follow that post and be able to get the latest information. Twitter, of course, just Memphis Weather 1. Um, and so uh, those are the things I wanted to make sure that uh, you are aware of going into tonight. Um, and the last thing I'll note is even if we do have uh, a tornado or two that comes through the area tonight, recognize when you are uh, dealing with some of this anxiety that just because there is a tornado does not mean that the whole city is affected by that tornado directly. Um, these even, even a large tornado covers a very small part of the geography of a location. Um, and so play the odds. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine going through this tonight. Uh, as long as you are aware and you're keeping updated with the latest information and you are taking action when we ask you to do so. So that is the update for now. And I uh, appreciate you listening in. Follow us again on social media throughout the night. Um, and we will be answering your questions and posting routine updates there. And if we are uh, able to um, and we have uh, the manpower and don't have a storm rolling directly over us, we will try and do live updates um, on our YouTube channel as well tonight uh, and try and do some wall-to-wall -wall through YouTube. So uh, follow us there, uh, find our YouTube channel, and we'll, uh, we'll make sure that you're aware of that as well. So that's it for today, and uh, I hope everyone stays safe. We'll get through this together, and uh, the sunshine comes back out tomorrow. Everyone have a great evening.